Well, who wants to be a millionaire? The mega millions hit a historic level at $868 million, and the Powerball jackpot is also growing. Not in your size, Jasmine Miner takes a look at the lotto fever that's heating things up. Ryan, I picked up my ticket, and if you haven't gotten yours, now is the time to do so because no one has claimed the $868 million prize that all could be yours by the end of the week. People are lining up to get their shot at the prize. One woman I spoke to bought both a Mega Millions and Powerball ticket. If she would win both, it would be more than $1.2 billion. And she says that after taking care of herself, she'd like to give it back to the homeless. Those are the people that I want to help first, to get them, especially uh, off the streets and inside, and, and maybe even get them motivated to support themselves. Deborah is hoping to win the grand prize, but she says she'll take any kind of prize. One woman in Kentucky took home $1 million. I actually ran into someone who knows that woman and said she was having a tough time living with a family member. Now, after winning, her life has changed completely. But if you win the money, we spoke to the financial expert who's got some advice on who to have on your team. You're going to have accountants, attorneys, financial planners. You might have a better chance at being struck by lightning than taking home the jackpot prize. But if you want to take a crack at it, you have until Friday at 11 p.m. That's when the next drawing will be announced. I've been Walnut Hills, Jasmine Miner, 9 on your side.